So there I am watching this YouTube video of a guy cutting some wood with a K-40 laser, and down below in the comments, somebody states, Can you believe it? He stuck his hand in there. Ah! You know, he could have gotten it chopped off or something. And, and I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, the laser passes right through here. Now, before you say anything down below in the comments, I have unplugged the machine after crashing into the telephone pole down the street where the substation is. So there's no power to this machine. I am not going to cut my finger off as I do this, but he was mentioning that the laser comes here, strikes this mirror, goes to here, and then down into the workpiece. So if you were to put your hand, finger in here, hypothetically, you get her cut right off, right? Or would you? So I, I, I did a quick search on YouTube. I, I couldn't find anybody asking this silly question about, well, what happens if you put your fingers here? I went out to the store, and I got the closest thing I could find to a human finger. A hot dog. All right, it's lacking bone, but it's got skin. It's got some meat to her. It, it is. It is room temperature. I should maybe warm this up. Plan is we got this carbon fiber tent peg. We got some duct tape, and we're gonna do her up proper, good and proper here. I mean, this is some quality content on YouTube. Where else do you get to watch a guy wrap duct tape around a hot dog and attach it to a tent pole? Okay, so we had a good long exposure there. And she definitely started eating into the hot dog. You can see that we're actually losing some mass there to the burn. Now you're not going to lose your finger, but I sure as heck wouldn't want that to be my finger. That's like the first, that's a third degree burn, easy. That's that side. So let's try it again, only this time let's do a brief little pssst. So this will be, you're an idiot, you put your finger in there, you yank it back out real quick. This side, which has already been marked, we'll have that away and we'll go for the fresh side. Here we go. Oh, what's that? Ah! Not much. I, I don't see where it actually hit. Have you ever found yourself in the middle of 3D printing the next big thing when you get hungry and you find yourself some hot dogs but you can't get the package open because you don't have a knife? Ah, what do you do? I have the solution. I present to you the Hot Dog Opener 5000. Haha, <laughs> perfect!